everyone welcome back to dubious engineering today we're going to fit some solar panels to the top of a t5 van it's van so let's get on with it here they are there was two in the pack two 100 watt solar panels but we're going to go ahead and connect these up to a brand spanking new leisure battery through a charge controller in fact we're only going to use one of them if we look at the spec on these they're they're, fle they're mildly flexible you got to be a little bit careful but uh, let's just check out the spec short circuit current 6.11 amps open circuit voltage 21.6 volts maximum power voltage 18 maximum power current 5.5 so on a really good sunny day 18 volts at 5.5 amps something along those lines which should be more than enough really to keep a, a battery charged and run a small electric fridge in my friend's van so as i say they're flexible we're going to stick them on the roof with some mastic and uh, and then we're going to bodge some wires down into the back of the van so the first thing i want to do is just sort of check that these panels are doing what they say on the tin we've not got bright sunshine today it's a cloudy day but we'll have a look at the uh, the voltage of the panel and then we'll have a look at the current i'll just plug the cables in so good news hopefully you can see that on the display there it's reading nearly 22 volts open circuit very promising so i've just gone ahead and set this up balanced it on the windshield of my vehicle so that I can do these tests a little bit easier. But we've got 21 volts as we saw earlier. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna very briefly short circuit the solar panel and we'll see what kind of short circuit current we get. Current clamp meter is there and zeroed. Let's just go ahead and plug those cables together. Here we go. There we go, we've got, we've got an amp in the shade short circuit so that pretty much proves that that panel's working clearly once you've tested the solar panels you're going to want to install them on the roof of the van this is my friend's van and she is cleaning the roof of the van at the moment in order to make sure that it's all nice and clean so that when we stick this down with some mastic everything goes down well <laughs> so once you've tested the panels and you've got everything clean go ahead and start peeling off that protective layer of film so just test fitting the location of the panel on the roof. We've marked out where the panel's gonna go with pencil marks. And now we're gonna get on and put some mastic down. What we've done is we've put a big snake of mastic on the raised sections. And, uh, and then what I plan to do here to stop rainwater and wind from getting in underneath the solar panel I'm going to put some extra mastic in here we've got an old leisure battery in here and uh, it doesn't seem to hold its charge very well we've had it tested so what we've got is we've got a pretty much like for like replacement for it I surprised myself at how similar that new battery is actually absolutely spot on Here then you can see there's a couple of solar panel connectors dangling free. Those are going to sit inside, inside this little tray here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put an extension cable on either of those. So what I've got going on now then is I've put that cable underneath the trim here. Yeah. I've made a small hole in the trim and I'm just feeding that cable into the trim. <laughs> and then Hale puts a little pause, a little dampener with a bit of rain and hail <laughs> in the middle of filling a solar panel. Beautiful. Got the solar charge controller here, got the new battery here. That's just basically been wired in exactly the same way as the old battery has been wired in. And what we're gonna do now is connect up the solar charge controller to the battery. And then what we're gonna do is connect the cables from the solar panels to the solar charge controller. So these are the cables for the solar panel up on the roof of the vehicle. What we need to do now is just establish which one is positive and which one is negative. 
before we plug it into the solar charge controller. But ultimately, there's only four connections to the solar charge controller, one going to the battery and one coming from the solar panel. Absolutely dead easy to do. And actually, if you look at the solar charge controller at the moment, it's telling us that it's running from battery power and it's got 12.8 volts going into it. All right, so good news. Now we can see on the display, at least I hope you guys can see on the display there, that uh, the solar panel is now charging the battery and that is doing exactly what it says on the tin. So uh, there we go, four connections into a little charge controller and the battery down underneath here. Now, a few things that I really like to do is actually just sort of try and cover these terminals. A little bit nervous that um, perhaps uh, things could easily get shorted out. Um, and then there's a few other little very obvious issues we need we need to get a little bit of self amalgamating tape to cover this positive terminal here but aside from that everything looks like it's doing what it says on the tin happy happy days and guess what perfect timing cup of tea so the sun's just popped out uh, we've got some good charge going into the battery i'm going to put the dc current clamp meter here uh, into one of those cables and we'll see what kind of current we've got going into the battery. It says overload at two amps, which means it's dumping more than two amps. DC looks like it's dumping about 4.4 amps in with the sun out. That is absolutely fantastic. Just what we're looking for. That's working a treat. Happy, happy days. And there it is, all installed, ready to go. It's sitting there actively charging the battery and uh, That'll just keep, that'll keep that battery under there in good check for many, many years to come. And no one will even know that there's a solar panel on the top of this vehicle. Happy Haley? Back with Haley's van. <laughs> I didn't really want to leave it quite as it was with the battery uninsulated and not strapped down. So I've gone ahead and um, I found something in the way of straps and something in the way of insulation to try and make that battery a little bit safer. Ideally, it could probably do with being in a proper battery compartment, but I don't feel as though that's within my remit, unless someone wants to pay lots of money for me to do it. Anyway, all wired in, I'll show you how I've finished it up. So we've got a, a plastic cowling on top of the battery now, strapped down. And then what we're gonna do is use the other strap to actually strap it against the metal work of the bed frame. And there we have it, all strapped in. And here you can see some of my Gorilla Glue cable tie blocks, just securing that cable yeah. to the roof of the van. Say hello, Simon. I said be careful, my camera is really a bow tie. <laughs> Look at that. That's a proper fire si. That's beautiful. It's warm enough. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Actually, to be honest, I'm going to have to move back. Yeah. The lenses are melting. The lens is melting. There's a matty. There's a whole shed load of baked potatoes and pulled pork. There's a Haley. And then... And then there's the fire. That's proper. Love it. As always, have a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend. Take care, give us a good old thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers. Oh, bye for now.